Last year was Joe Guanyu's first ever season in Formula 1. And what a season it was. He managed to score points in the very first race of his career. For comparison, George Russell needed about 37 races before he scored his first ever Formula 1 points. In spite of this, Joe Guanyu feels that he is still the target of unnecessary hate. So hello and welcome to Fervent Motorsports. Today we're going to tell you what Joe Guanyu had to say about certain keyboard warriors. Zhou Guanyu is Formula 1's first ever Chinese driver. While you might think that this isn't a significant step, it actually is. For years, Formula 1 has been dominated by European drivers. Since 1950, there have been 772 drivers. However, only in 2022, we saw the first ever Chinese driver. Keep in mind that China has the largest population in the world. Speaking to the race, Zhou Guanyu said, The people in the paddock were always okay. It's more on the outside. The fans on the internet, the keyboard warriors, they are being a bit harsh or unfair. It's not something I expected. When you reach your dreams and then you get all this hate for no reason. It's great to use this season to kind of just change my picture around a little bit. Let people know me better. Earlier this year, Sergio Perez, a Mexican driver, opened up on the racism he felt was present in the media. He claimed that this was largely due to the fact that he was a Mexican driver. In reference to this, Joe Guanyu also added, I read about what Checo said. If you're a Chinese driver, it's even worse. Probably twice as worse than what's affected Mexican drivers. I've lived in this kind of situation many times in my career. I'm used to how to get rid of all this unnecessary attention, to just focus purely on the job. When this happens, the only way I try to deal with it is to keep it quiet. Just do the things on track, do the job, which is the most efficient way. But it's still quite unfair or bad to see how people are still judged by their nationalities. It's definitely not the way we should go forward. Joe's first season in Formula 1 had everything except a race victory. He scored points on his debut, he had the fastest lap in Japan, and he even had 6 retirements from races, which is about 27% of his Formula 1 career. And of course, he also had the massive crash in Silverstone, which he managed to walk away from. Joe Guanyu has another season left in Formula 1. The Alfa Romeo team was impressed by the way he conducted himself and decided to extend him for just another year. Nothing is guaranteed in Formula 1 and you can be sure that China's first ever Formula 1 driver will fight for his place amongst the greats of the sport. Do you think Joe can compete if he has a competitive car next year? Or do you think he will join the list of forgotten Formula 1 personalities? Let us know in the comments below and as always, stay tuned to Fervent Motorsports as we get you the best of motorsport news.